Let's make sure this is being recorded, guys. Yeah, so this is being recorded. One thing I'll show you again is on our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, type in Benutech, and you look for the icon that someone mentioned. It looks like James Bond. So we have almost 200 videos here. Uh, great resource on how to navigate the system. Uh, I did one a couple of weeks ago. It was a week ago then, I guess. And that was on Excel Basics and uh, how to upload farms. So since then, I've had three or four people already ask for training. So this is where our YouTube channel comes in really handy. This is a great resource. And where I'm going with this, uh, uh, this conversation right now is Brian's presentation today on the app uh, will be uploaded to our Benutech channel as well. So uh, probably this afternoon if you missed something on that, okay? So uh, let's see if Brian's uh, ready here. Are you ready, Brian? Because it's quite interesting, actually. Uh, the other thing, uh, I, yeah, the other thing that I really liked was uh, the fact that uh, he can do a Zoom right off his phone and show you the app. So that was awesome. So. Uh, I'm not sure, Brian, how this is going to work now because I made you co-host. Uh, I can't really see your phone, so tell me what tell me what you need from me to to make sure everyone can see uh, uh, your phone. Hopefully, hopefully, nothing. You might have to just quit sharing your screen. Uh, okay. We've already done no, it. No, I can see it. No, I can see it. I can see it. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So, hey, I really love it when technology works, right? So, <laughs> so you're seeing Brian's phone right now. And again, uh, formal introduction, Brian Fox, uh, VP of Benutech. And um, go ahead, Brian, please. Thank you. Cool. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. We're just going to go through the app really fast, kind of show you guys. Uh, if you haven't been accessing our mobile app, um, kind of the, I like to always take it from the what's in it for me, from the realtor side. I mean, that's who we're trying to do business with, right? So you know, kind of what's in it for them. Why would they want to use our mobile app attached title toolbox as opposed to uh, Title Pro 247 or a, as opposed to Palm Agent or whatever other applications that are using for real estate out there in the field. So we'll just take it from the top. You're seeing my screen there. Uh, if I hit to the app store to be able to download it, I just kind of want to show you the process about how to connect it. So essentially the email address that they use to log into Title Toolbox is the same email address that they're going to use to log it into their app. All right, and we associate them by that email address. So I'm gonna to go to the search button. I'm gonna type in title toolbox. And we'll find the app search. There it is right there. So I've already downloaded it before. So you still got that cloud there. Otherwise, it would just tell you, you know, it's free. Do you want to download it? But I do want to download it. So we'll give that a second for it to download. So it's gonna put it on my, on my computer screen. And then as I go there as a user, I'm gonna put in my email address and one of two things are gonna happen when we get to that point. So there we go, it's open on my side. The screen is now caught up. So let's open up that Title Toolbox app. All right, so you notice the first thing it's gonna ask your client for, or you, if you've never downloaded the app before, it's gonna ask you for your email address is what it's going to do. And it's doing that because it's trying to find which Title Toolbox account do you have because it's gonna attach the app to that title toolbox site is what it's going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email address here. All right, so there it is, put it in, submit. And so now it's going to look and go, okay, do you have a title toolbox account associated to that email address? And it recognized one. It said, hey, you're right there. So good, I'm gonna select that one and then I'm going to confirm it. Now. If it did not, if it did not, so if it went to that point and said, okay, hey, we don't recognize this email address anywhere, the next step that it would do is say, put in a zip code. So the user would put in their zip code, 92626, which is the zip code in Costa Mesa. And then it would display all of the title companies that have access to Title Toolbox in Orange County so that that user can select which title company they wanted to get their account with. Okay, so I'm gonna pause there again. If it recognizes the email address, like it just recognized mine, it only gave me one selection, one title company to select. So I selected that title company. 
I'm gonna enter my password and in I go, right? If it did not recognize the email address because that email address is not associated or does not have an account set up on any title toolbox account in the area, it's gonna say, the next step is gonna say, give us a zip code so they can enter that zip code and then we can figure out what title company to connect them to, all right? So that's how the app works. That way, that way it's one app for everybody, right? But then we can associate it directly just to your guys' website. So from there, they put in their password. If they don't remember their password, they can always use that forgot password underneath the green sign in button. Once they put in their password, we're gonna log them into the app. All right. Um, using GPS, obviously it's gonna tell them, you know, show them that the area that they're located in. So good, there's the area that I'm located in, right? So from there, what we do is we land them. There's three tools in the app at the bottom on the bottom. If you're gonna just focus your eyes down to the bottom for a second, we have the property search bottom left-hand side. That's the screen that we're on right now, right? And the reason we start our realtors and our users there is because what we've seen from experience with our mobile app is that most of the time, the realtor is going to individually look up one individual property at a time out in the field. They're not gonna start drawing farms out in the field, right? They normally do their farming from their desktop or their personal computer at home. When they're out in the field, they, I need to know more information about 123 Main Street or 222 Orchard Street. So it's one property at a time. So that's why we land them at that spot, all right? So that's property search, which is the bottom left-hand side. You'll also notice that we have the ability for them to be able to display any sort of saved farms. This is a new account that I created for this one. I don't have any saved farms as of yet. If I did, it would display the farms that I have saved there in the system so that I can access them. So what that means is if I created a farm at my house on my personal computer in Title Toolbox, when I access my mobile app, I will be able to see all of the farms that I have saved on my personal computer will be available for selection in my phone. Okay, so that's how that part works. And then the last button there on the right hand side is the farming button. And if I select that one, it then brings me to, hey, if you want to create a farm, you can do it from your mobile device, but it's going to be a little bit of work, right? It's going to be harder to do on the mobile device because the screen's so small compared to doing it on my personal computer where I have a bigger screen. But all of the possibilities are still there. I can still do polygon searches, radius searches, area searches, and even our kind of quick search, one, two, three searches available, okay? All right, I'm gonna go back to that property search button. So let's take you back to like where, when I log in, this is what happens. And by the way, your client only has to log in one time. Once they log in, the next time they tap on the app, it's gonna load a form. It remembers their password, or remembers their email address, and it lands them on the site, okay? So you saw that I had to log in. That's because it's the first time that I'm using the app, and that's why I had to do it that way, all right? So now that I'm on this screen, I can now start typing in any address that I want to be able to try to find the property that I want more information on. You'll notice we use Google to speed up the process. This helps so that slow typers don't have to type it out really slow, right? They can start typing it out and Google's gonna figure out most of the time, 95% of the time, Google's gonna figure out where they wanna go before I get there or before the user gets there, right? So you'll notice there's the property address. When I tap on that property that came up first, right? It's now gonna load it onto my site. And you'll notice it's really easy to use, right? We open up all of the windows that most likely the client is gonna to want to use. So in this case, I have a button to get a property profile, I have a button to get a net sheet, and I have a button for more, all right? We know what a property profile is, I'll go to that in a moment. We know what a net sheet is, I'll go to that in a moment. Let's start with more, right? So under that more button, I have some options. So let's say that I just wanna, you know, what does that property look like from the street, right? So like, as if I went to Google and I, you know, typed in the address and I drugged the little yellow man onto the map, I wanna see what does it look like from the street. Google will allow me this, this, excuse me, this app will allow you to do it. So we bring in Google Maps directly into the map. And now with my thumb, you'll notice that I'm scrolling around. It's just as if I'm on Google and I can now take a look at the property, scroll in on the property, whatever it is that I wanna be able to do. Now, I'm gonna stop here for a second. This is not technology that you're gonna find in Title Pro 247. You're not gonna find it in the Palm Agent app right? The, you know, Fidelity Agent One, Lawyers Agent One, it's not in there, right? But it's in our, our app, right? So it's kind of a cool tool for them to be able to go in and grab that sort of information. When they want that Google view, they can go off and they can get it. It's also giving you property details that are there without having to build a PDF. 
also located into the more. I have other reports that I can go out and get as well. So if I want a full property profile or a single page profile or a tax bill, tax bills aren't available everywhere, but in certain counties, they are available. Um, so I can select those different things. A lead sheet, if you're familiar with it from our, from our uh, web application, is that sheet that will tell you, hey, from that address that you're looking at, which in this case is 200 Siesta in Orange, or excuse me, in Anaheim, right? It will give them all of the life events that are surrounding that property. So if they're looking to get more listings around this, this new listing potentially, that will guide them there, right? It'll show them what's available around them. Okay, so quite a bit available in the more. I don't, excuse me, in like in the, in the other items that are available. I don't know how much these are gonna be used. I mean, probably the single page profile <clears throat> is used quite a bit because it's everything in a property profile except that it's on one piece of paper, right? So from there, right, they can go get bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, who owns the property, all that sort of stuff is available there and they don't have to go, you know, print out 15 pages in a, a full property profile to be able to get all of those details, right? So that's there if they want it, all right? All right, going back to the Title Toolbox app, let's bring that back up, there we go. All right. All right. So back onto it. So now again, other information that I'm looking for. So let's say that I wanted a property profile that also load our full property profile. Now we're doing some things different in the property profiles. If you haven't seen them as of yet, we have the ability now, if your operation hasn't done it, let's do it for you. We have the ability now to customize the cover page on the property profile, meaning put whatever image you want on page one that, that, you know, highlights the Inland Empire or highlights Los Angeles, depending upon where your operation's at. We have all of your color schemes, right? So it can be red and blue for First American. It can be blue and green for lawyer's title or whatever your color scheme is for your operation, we can put that into the property profile. On the last pages of the property profile, we have the ability now to also add in customized farms into it. Customized farms being Right, we can add like a, not just the 15 closest nearby sellers to a property, excuse me, closest nearby neighbors to a subject property, but we can add in all sorts of information like empty nesters near that subject property, next sellers near that subject property. So if you haven't customized your property profile as of yet, contact your rep to be able to do that. They can do that. But anyways, here's our property profile. So again, that image on page one can be any image you want it to be. We see it's high rise buildings here. Uh, not what I would choose, but again, right, you could swap that out for whatever, what you, whatever it is that you want to be able to swap that out. It'll be your logos at the bottom of the, of the profile. So we can do your logos there. It'll be your logo again on the left-hand side. It'll be title toolbox on the right-hand side or vice versa. But anyway, as I scroll through the profile, you guys have all seen a profile. Cool part about it though, is I have this profile at the very end, you'll notice that this one happens to be a next sellers around the subject property. So think about it, a lot more valuable to me than just nearby neighbors. I now have all of the next sellers around the subject property. We show 10 of them on the screen. If I want more that view all records on the bottom left hand side, if I tap that link, it will load that farm directly into my mobile device or it will load it onto my personal computer depending upon what device I'm looking at that on, okay? So kind of cool on our property profiles. Again, they're customizable. Most of the other profiles that you're using from the other devices are not customizable, ours, it, ours are, right? So I'm gonna get rid of that. That's the property profile. We'll go on to the net sheet. Our net sheet's kind of cool in that we do all the calculations that the other net sheets don't do. And what I mean by that is you'll notice by tapping on net sheet, under sales price, we bring in the current market value of, the, of that property according to computer model or AVM, right? So that's the current market value of the property, 586,200. The other apps don't do that, right? The Palm Agent app doesn't do it. Um, I know that the First American app doesn't do it. We do it and we're doing it for this reason. So if I was to make a phone call and Jim Dubois is the owner of this property here at Siesta Street in Anaheim, right? Typical thoughts and, and ideas that sellers have are, well, what's my property worth? And what would I walk away with if I did sell, right? I mean, if they have those kinds of things, well, Jim can ask me those questions as I'm standing at the door, let's say with the Palm Agent app in my hand, but how do I answer those questions for Jim, right? Well, Jim, what do you think your house is worth, right? Or do I pull a property profile, look through comps and try to do that on his porch 
while it's really uncomfortable silence that I'm sitting there with Jim. I mean, there's all those things that have to happen with the other apps that are out there. With ours, I can quickly and, and intelligently answer the question for seller Jim Dubois, right? I could say, well, Jim, according to computer models, your house is worth 586,200. I don't know if that's right or not, right? I'm gonna research it further to verify it, but that's what the computers think your home is worth. Now, if that's right, let's just verify a couple of things. I can see that your property taxes are $3,504 a year, right? We bring that in. I don't have to research it, we bring it in. I can see that you have a mortgage on the property for $167,000 and no second. Now he's gonna confirm those because those come straight from the property assessor and recorder's office. So I know they're right, right? So now that I have all that information, I can now scroll to the bottom of my app and say, well, Jim, if all of that's right, right? You could walk away with $380,000 in your pocket right now if you decided to sell. I can answer all of those questions for Jim on his door step, right? When it is cool to knock again, right? Or by phone, if I made a phone call to him, or again, I can answer all those questions. I don't have to come back tomorrow. I don't have to call him back later, right? I have everything in the palm of my hand, right? So those are all of, of the benefits, again, of what we're doing with the app. Additional super cool tools. And by the way, um, if you haven't met with your rep yet to be able to customize all of your closing costs, please do, right? Because all of your title and escrow fees can be your exact cost off of your rate manuals, just like it is in the other closing apps, right? The closing calculators, it could be your exact rates, right? Get with your rep to be able to provide them that PDF or that Excel spreadsheet of rates. We can get it imported into your app so it is your exact cost. So it's not, it's still an estimate, right? Because they're all estimates until we get to escrow, but at least it's your rates as opposed to generic rates, right? And so we can do that. So if, you, if it's not your correct rates right now, right? Get with your sales manager, have them get with their rep, whatever, let's get that fixed up for you, right? So it is your exact cost, all right? Anyways, that's the net sheet. Other cool things we're doing with it. Now, let's picture your realtor who is out door knocking, right? And he knocks on Jim's door and he has this conversation with Jim. Now that may or may not go in the right direction. Jim may or may not decide to list, but if I was, I don't know, title rep Danielle, if I was title rep Luca, right? I'd probably want to know that that conversation was just had with a client. Because I can tell you from my past real estate experience, the only time I looked at one of these was when I was going on a listing presentation, just got back from a listing presentation, right? Something was getting serious with the property. My client was asking, well, what would I walk away with? And I needed to answer those questions. That's when I was looking at a net sheet. I wasn't looking at it for fun and it wasn't in the beginning of the process, right? It was when it was getting serious. So the other thing that we do with the app is we immediately send a text message to Luca, if Luca was my title rep, sends a text message to Luca that says, hey Luca, Brian Fox with ABC Real Estate just looked up a net sheet on 200 Siesta Street in Anaheim, California. Here's Brian's phone number, here's Brian's email address. Now that happens on any net sheet, whether it's pulled from our mobile app or if it's pulled from a pure personal computer, we send that text message out to the associated title rep. And we do it so that Luca now is put in the right place in the right time to be able to get a title order, right? Because he may or may not have talked to me in the past couple of months, right? But now he's got a message, a text that says, hey, Brian's looking at a net sheet. Again, from experience, something's probably getting serious on that property. It allows Luca to pick up the telephone. We just gave him the phone and my email on, the, on that text. Luca can call me like, hey, Brian, I haven't talked to you in a while, man. What are you up to? How's business? How's, how are you holding up in the pandemic? Can I help you with anything? And then hopefully my response is, you know what, Luca, can you do me a favor? I'm going on a listing presentation, 200 Siesta. Can you make sure there's no NODs, no liens or anything on that property? Can you help me with that? Sure, I can, right? Off we go, right? Puts Luca in communication at the right place at the right time while I'm using my phone app to be able to go on a listing presentation or get more information for a client, all right? So again, I think it's a pretty cool tool. I know the other apps don't do, the other closing cost calculators don't do that for title reps like yourself. Uh, other things we do. So let's say that I wanted to bring this into a PDF. So I'm on Jim's porch, I had this conversation with him. Jim's like still hemming and hawing, don't really know, I need to talk to my wife. Cool, can I come back, set another appointment? In the meantime, let me send this to you, right? And I can send him, a copy of this seller estimate report directly from my phone, right? So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna scroll in so you guys can see it a little bit better, right? But it'll point out there are the closing costs, there's the brokerage fees, there's the encumbrances. And again, I can customize 
all of this, edit anything I want on my phone, anything I edit on my phone will end up in this PDF that I can then go and send off to my client, including the net proceeds at the bottom. And this guy, Jim Dubois, may talk with his wife and his wife says, 380 grand, we're out, let's go to Oregon. Perfect, right? I was able to do it because I was sitting in his, right, on his porch, able to answer all of the questions that he needed to you know, answers to without having to come back tomorrow, hoping he answers his door or answers his phone. All right. So that's the net sheet. I think it's pretty slick. Um, other things that we're doing within the app and, uh, and then I'll, you know, pause, answer questions and everything. So that's everything on one property at a time. Again, you're looking at the map view. We can also switch it to list view. Same thing. It will answer and say, okay, good. What, what is the, the you want on those properties? If I want to get rid of that address, you'll notice that little X comes up in that address bar. I can click out of it and then I can type in a different address, right? And again, Google's pretty fast on finding the properties you want to be able to find. It's going to find the closest ones next to you for whatever it is that you type. I don't think it could be any easier to be able to use for the one-on-one -on -one property lookups, right? For a client, I think it's pretty, pretty simple and pretty easy to do, all right? So anyways, that's that. Um, that stack, I'm going to go back here for a second. That little stack, if you move your eyes up to the top right hand side, that stack will also take you to a menu of opportunity of things that you can do. Now I'm logged in currently as a, uh, as a type, excuse me, as a realtor or lender, right? So I have a user account. I don't have a title rep account that I'm logged into right now. But if you look through that right now, you'll, there's one button that you have on your app as a title rep that your client won't have and that button will be add user so if you want to add a user from from the mobile app you can do that meaning fill in the blanks put in the email address it will tell you immediately if that person already has an account on title toolbox and if they don't excuse my fantasy football rankings there um and if, <laughs> and if you don't right it'll say okay fill in the boxes if it says they already have an account then you're good right you can just go ahead and let them do their thing okay so it is property search, select farms, farming, log out. I'm gonna go now over to farming, right? To switch things up. Again, I don't anticipate that your clients are gonna to wanna to create their farms here, but if they do, they still can, all right? Pretty simple. We'll start with a radius search, right? So it brings out the map. Again, using my fingers pinching, I can pinch that map, scroll in, and I can move to any place that I want to be able to move to. Right, so if let's say that I wanna go up to Northern California, again, the map will place them where they're at, but if I wanna go up into Northern California, I can go up into Northern California, tap on the map, and it's gonna place the pin at that map location. Now, if I wanna make it, that radius bigger, that's about a 1300 meter circle. If I wanna make that bigger, I'm gonna tap and hold on that outer button. You notice it turned green, and now I can make it bigger or smaller from within the app, okay? So if I wanted a bigger area, I can. Still want it bigger, again, I can pinch and scroll in, tap and hold that outside, it turned green, make it bigger, and now I got a really large area up there by Salinas, California, all right? If red means stop or cancel, then next, I guess, is gonna mean let's move forward, so I'm gonna click on next, just like we do on our web app, it then gives you all of the filters, right? That you have the, the, the way to be able to do it, right? So, um, and yes, Gina, if you're listening, we, we do need, we switched it to miles on our test site. We haven't pushed it yet to the live site. So you'll, you'll see miles soon. It basically goes now on feet all the way up to one mile, which is I think 5,200 feet or something like that. And then it switches to miles after that. So anyways, that's, I, that question just popped up. Um, anyway, so there's the filters. The only thing, again, we pre-select, just like we do on the web-based uh, application, is we pre-select single-family residences and condos. That's it, right? So if you don't want condos, click the X. If you want to add a different property type, you know, type, just tap in the box, and it's going to open up, okay, what do you want to put in there, right? And we can choose something different, okay? Um, I'm going to go over, there's going to be way too many properties in that circle that we have that's on there. You notice that I can buy leads, I can buy phones and emails, I can do all of that stuff from the app. I'm gonna to go to custom filters and say, show me anybody that's out of state owner in that circle that we drew up there. So I'm gonna switch that over to yes, tap get count. And it will tell me how many properties are in there. So out of however many thousand, 
thousands. There's probably about 50,000 homes within that circle that I drew. 216 properties, right, are out of state owners, right? They live out of state. Now, this has been a good pandemic lead because people own property, they can't get back to them, they're afraid they're going to lose equity, right? They're selling these properties quite often. So, this would be a good lead type that I want to be able to go after. Now, depending upon where you're at in the country, there's different laws, right? So if somebody's attending this from Washington state, right? It's gonna say there's 216 properties, but then it's also gonna say you have to pay because in Washington state, they can't just get these 216 records at no cost like they can in California, they have to pay for it. So we then give them a message that says you need to pay your $2.25 or your $2.50 and there's a pay now button that they will tap, fill in the credit card information and then they can view the 216 records. In Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, right? You guys can just deliver these records on behalf of the title company to your client. So what they can now do, right? They can go, okay, there's 216 properties that are there. They can close that, click on search, and now it will show me where those 216 properties are within that radius that I drew out there on the screen. Again, we think it's pretty simple to use, but again, it's a lot easier to do on your personal computer than it is to do right on the phone. So anyways, there I am up in Salinas. There's the 216 properties. As I scroll and now I'm using my fingers and I'm moving them out on my phone. So as I do that, I now move in on properties and I can tap on a blue bubble and it will give me all of that information as if I looked it up individually, right? It's telling me who owns the property, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the square footage. And if I want anything on it, like a net sheet, tap net sheet, it's gonna deliver that for me within the app. Really easy to use, we think. Right? And there's everything it does, including, hey, estimated, you'll walk away with 130,000 bucks. So think about me making this phone call. I have his name, right? Gian Yu, right? So I can call Gian and then tell Gian. Gian goes, I don't know what my house is worth. I'm leaving now. I don't even have to look up the mailing address, but they're obviously an out of state owner, right? And then, you know, what is my house worth right now? What would I walk away with? I can answer all those questions for him right now, including if I want, drive by, take a picture of his house and, and text it to him, right? Or email it to him because I have all of his information here on my phone, right? So anyways, again, that's what we can do there. Um, I'm gonna go back away from that. We'll cancel, keep going back, we'll cancel that. So that's a polygon search. Uh, excuse me, that was a radius search. Let's cancel that, let's go to polygon. Polygon, same exact thing, except for now we're gonna the first tap on my phone drops a pin. My next tap on the phone drops another pin. And now you're gonna start seeing it fill in, right? So I can make, Again, any shape that I want to be able to make. So there's my polygon, that was five taps, six taps, excuse me, on the screen and it closed out. Same process, I want information within there, click on next, it will take me to the next screen. And then if I wanted to buy something within there, I can do that, whether I wanted to buy, let's say uh, affidavits of death within that area or phones and emails within that area, those are all possibilities for me to be able to do. So if I go over to leads and I type in, say I want affidavits of death, and I want them from 0101-2020 to today, 0901, let's say 2020, there you go, same process, get count. I don't know if there is any missing state, oh, that's wonderful. I wanna go back and do it. I probably need to clear my search. But anyways, you guys get the process on what we're doing there, right? So that's that. The other thing they can do is an area search. On an area search, it's as simple as they are now searching by city or zip code. So it's fill in the boxes on that one, right? I'll bring up the area search. So it starts with filters. It knows I'm in LA County, and then I can choose a city or zip, or I can change the county to Orange County as an example. and keep moving on, right? So if I go, now I want Orange County, it will change then my list of cities that I can then do the search in. So everything works the same way it works on your personal computer. It's just now happening on the phone. Again, it's not gonna be as easy for them to do the farming stuff, but at the same time, we think that it is probably the easiest for what they're gonna be using it for, individually looking up properties one at a time, and that's about 75% of use that's gonna happen on the phone right? It's going to be really easy for them to be able to do that out in the field using this app. And for some of the things we're doing within, again, the net sheet, I would definitely get your rates into our net sheet calculator because again, if I'm out door knocking, this is 
the best. It may not route me from door to door in the best way. I mean, I can scroll in, I can see every house and I know, hey, this is Scott Hohen's door and this is Adam Farinato's door and I can do that all the way I'm going through, right? I know whose door I'm knocking at. It's not gonna route me in the best direction, but if Scott says, but what's my house worth? What would I walk away with? I don't have to come back to Mark and say, well, Scott, according to computer model, and I can start answering questions right here, right now. So from a door knocking perspective, I think the best thing out there, cold calling, best thing out there, whether they do it from their, their phone or they do it from their, you know, their, uh, their, their personal computer. Again, we bring in all that information in the net sheet. It's helpful from profile standpoint. I got a profile now that's got farms embedded into it, right? So I could tap on the farm nearby neighbors loads in my phone. I didn't do the search. It just loads in my phone and now I can buy phone numbers right on that group of addresses if I want to be able to buy it. So again, it connects everything together. It's a pretty slick app. We're kind of proud of it. Um, hopefully you'll find it as easy to use as I was just displaying for you guys right now. So I'm going to pause there, see if there's any questions and we'll answer those and uh, I'll be moving on. So any questions for me? Uh, so you can hear me okay, right, Brian? Yes, sir. All right, so uh, yeah, if there's any questions, uh, please. Um, uh, can they unmute, Jim, or no, is there no questions? Yeah, they might be texting, or most people are on mute, so you'll have to unmute yourself. So um, a few things here, uh, Brian brought up some points. Uh, one is you're able to add a user. To me, that's important. If you're out uh, and about, and you want to make sure that you add a user correctly, and that user receives a welcome email and a login credentials, you can do that right in front of your client. So that cuts down some time. It doesn't slip your mind, oh, I got back to the office or home and I forgot to add you. You can do it right then and there. You know, back in the day at Starbucks, say it would, would work well. And again, we're lightening up on the social uh, distancing. So maybe you can use it in that manner. Number two, Brian mentioned was always a question back when we released the app was premier data uh and i don't know if brian uh, can bring that up again or not but you can actually buy the premier data on the phone right now uh and the other thing is that brian mentioned uh and i always said this as well i have been huge uh advocate of apps i love technology i love the apps uh the issue here is uh, maybe a pun intended, you just don't have the real estate, uh, the screen space on phones. So like Brian said, if you know you're going out, add your farm to your desktop and it's going to convert over to the app. So you can use the app and not have to try it. It's quite easy to do. It's just I like, you know, a 15 inch screen versus, you know, a four inch screen. That's all. So that's just some points I wanted to pick up on. This was recorded. Brian's showing you the premier data right now. So this was a recorded, and if you want the uh, link to it, or it'll be put up today, I hope, on our YouTube channel. But uh, I think the app was is outstanding, and Brian, great job covering everything. Uh, Thanks, and that's sir. why I brought him in. That's why I brought him in. He's really, he's used the app, the most, uh, a lot more than I have. So I, I consider him absolutely the expert on the app. So questions for Brian and me. I don't, I'm not able to see my uh, screen right now because Brian is still the, the host. So you have to unmute yourself. But if there's no questions uh, in the next minute or two, we'll end this. And again, it will be put up on our YouTube channel uh, hopefully this afternoon for future reference. Cool. And again, can't thank you enough, Brian. Good job. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, everybody, for attending. And uh, hopefully, uh, again, you can download it and your clients can download it and start having fun with it. It does work well. Yeah, it's great. Awesome. And, you know, last thing, uh, last quick thing is I, I think we forgot to mention, if you're on an iPad, you need to use the app on that, okay? Because uh, that's considered a mobile device. Uh, and smart tablets as well. If you're on, say, um, Microsoft Surface Pro, then that's the full uh, desktop application. But if you're on a, a mobile device, such as Android, iPhone, or iPad, then it's this app right here you're going to use, okay? 
I get that question a lot. All right, are we good, everyone? Cool. Thanks, well, again, Jim. appreciate appreciate your attendance and I appreciate your uh, help today, Brian. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. See you, buddy. Thank you. Stay care, buddy. safe. Take care. You too. Take care. Bye.